Hi, I'm here with Judy Belcher from Fire Mountain Gems and Beads, and Judy is going to show us a polymer clay purse project mm -hmm. that you're saying is a beginner project. It is. Okay. It is, I promise. Now, look at the beautiful things that you're going to be adorning. Well, polymer clay people are always looking for the perfect thing to cover. Mm -hmm. I've covered light switches in my house <laughs> and lampshades, but I really like to do jewelry. Oh, yeah. And the filigree work on those purses is the perfect thing to uh -huh. embellish with clay because the clay naturally adheres to it and will stick in those crevices and stay. And look at the different shapes and sizes right. that you can get, too. So you Lots have a nice of variety. variety. <laughs> those are gorgeous. I know. Those are gorgeous. Oh. Okay, let's get started with okay. this. Okay, some people are intimidated by cane mm, work. I'm one of them. I'm yeah. going to show you what I teach my beginner classes. Okay. A leaf cane. Really easy. Okay. Okay, we're going to start with you. a Skinner blend, which is just a violet piece of clay and a white piece of clay. And we're going to pick it up. Mm -hmm. It's two right triangles reformed into a square. Okay. Now, when you fold it in half, half, we're going to make sure that the violet edges touch. So the light, like pieces That's touch. That's right. Okay. That's right. And the white edges touch. And we're going to put it in our pasta machine, fold side down because we don't want any air mm -hmm. in the clay. Now how did you roll out the clay initially? Just, Just rolling it through the pasta machine again oh, and okay. again because you do need to condition polymer clay. Okay. So we're going to roll it through the pasta machine and then after about 20 times you'll get a gorgeous blended sheet so that looks like this. So it just blends together right. the colors. You continue folding and rolling and folding and rolling mm -hmm. just like I showed you. So about you. 20 times. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then when you roll that up, we're going to start to roll it up from this edge, keeping light colors together. You'll end up with a tube that looks like this. Okay. Okay? Now, it would be kind of hard to cut the leaf shape into this. So I'm going to pick yes. it up. <laughs> And I'm going to smash it with my hand uh -huh. and continue pressing it down till I get a tube that looks like this. Wow. This will be much easier to cut our leaf pattern How into. How long does it usually take to? Oh, just, just a, few a few minutes. minutes. You just okay. smash it. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we're going to take our blade, and we use a very sharp blade in polymer clay, but you want to be real careful with it. And we're just going to cut it into segments that look like a leaf. So do you see where the stem is? Uh-huh. And then the veins. Now, how did you protect your surface when you were doing um, your cutting? I just use a uh, tile, tile okay. or a uh, plexiglass sheet. Glass, okay. Mm -hmm. I know, I could see me doing it on my countertop. <laughs> I've been known to do it on my countertop, too. Not good. <laughs> now, I have very thin sheets of black, and that's what I'm going to insert into my cane to make the veins and the stem. Look at that. So you just insert those right in there, and after you get it together, it looks like this. See, now, I would have never thought you'd be able to get that to look like that. Well, like, do you see how it goes? From? Yes. Okay, then we're just going to roll the outside with some black clay. Okay. So you just take it and roll it right up. Okay. And then you end up with one that looks like this. Now, it's important in polymer clay to know the term reducing. Mm -hmm. So now we're right going to. Now it looks like sushi. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to reduce that cane because okay. we want it smaller. We want that image to fit on our mm -hmm. purse. So all you need to do to reduce it is you pinch the cane and roll it on your surface mm -hmm. and eventually you'll get it down to this size. So you just keep rolling, rolling and, and rolling, rolling and, and stretching. And stre okay. Uh huh. Now I really want to get it down to this size, but I was afraid the camera couldn't see it that little teeny tiny. So this is just the next step after That's this. That's right. A few more steps. Right. Keep just a little and more rolling. rolling. Okay. But I wanted you to see what's going on inside this cane. So I did one without the black. We still That's have right. that you nice blended that. log. Okay. So as we cut through that cane, you'll see that the graduated blending. color. Right. Great. Right. Perfect. Okay. okay here's so the fun part. Here's the magic. <laughs> So this is that same cane, and all I've done is pinch the top to get that leaf shape, ah. and then I've cut out each segment so you can see oh how goodness, that gorgeous that. blend goes all the way through. So as you cut through that cane, you'll get that nice blended shade. That is terrific. All right, let's decorate our purse. Okay. So we're just going to start with the dark little slices, and I've cut them about an eighth, eighth of an inch thick, mm -hmm. and we're just going to adhere them to the purse. Look at how easily. Yep, and they just stick. You just press on the top, and it gets down so in those little grooves. So you don't need glue? No, don't. absolutely not, because we're going to build layer upon layer. Mm -hmm. You can see here. Look how you can see the gradation as we've gone through our cane slices. And when you get to the top and you start putting more on, does mm -hmm. that affect the shape of the ones that you've done on the well, bottom? Well, if you hold it down there while it's still raw, well, mm -hmm. that's why I suggest that what you do is go about to this far. Leave okay. the flap open and a little spot where you can still hold it. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to put it on a piece of uh, cotton batting. 
Okay. And pop it in the oven at 275 for about 20 minutes. This can go in the oven? Absolutely. It won't affect it at all because it's really? such a low temperature. 275 degrees. That's not a very that. hot temperature. And so then after it cools, when you bring it out, then you can hold this piece. That's the important part right. about after it cools. That's right. That's <laughs> right. You so want to let it to cool. my project. Ah! Uh, okay. Um, but that way you can hold this because uh -huh. now it's totally cured. Okay. And so you won't have a problem with that. And then look at the... I added a gorgeous chain to it, and there's our little yeah. leaf purse. Well, you brought some other uh, different variations of it. My favorite, look at that pink. You've got the, the purple one, and then my favorite is that pink and purple one. Yeah, that's look a little that. bit different uh, way to blend the mm -hmm. original cane, but it's the same technique. You just okay. slice, slice, slice each one of those leaves. And then you can continue that with earrings, and you could also do it on a matching bracelet, right. too. Right, right. That is terrific. And you know what? Okay, it was pretty easy. I told you. <laughs> you can do it. Thank you so much, Judy. You're that welcome. was fun. Enjoyed it.